Welcome back to another HD production brought to you by Z Tutorials. Now today we're going to be looking at how to make this glossy logo with a nice stroke effect and a little kind of whirlpool in the middle. F this can do for your business, your YouTube logo, anything you want. Basically you can implement it wherever you feel fit. Now I myself have put this on my YouTube background. As you can see there I got my two logos on my left and my right. And it's my main logo as well, my face. And we have it as our Twitter as well, our logo on the left and our logo on the right. By the way, in my last videos I showed you how to make these templates. If you like them, go back into the description and you will know how to do this. So basically, let's get cracking on this baby and put the width to 250 and the height to 250. We want a background color of black. Now first off, we want to go into our shape tool. We want to select ellipse tool. And over here on the drop down menu, we want to make sure that circle is selected so that we get a proper circle and not a weird kind of egg shape. And draw it out and oh no, that's not what we want. We, that came out as white, so we're going to undo that. We're going to go down to our foreground color, double left click on that. Find the blue we want or the color you want. And again, back do that step again, back into our ellipse tool, over, draw a circle. And measure it out what way you see fit. And there we go. Go into our click and drag tool and drag that to wherever you want. Of course, using our arrow keys to get it more accurate. That's very important. You won't get it accurate otherwise. Now, first, we want to put on that stroke that you can see there on the actual logo. So right click on the layer and go to blending options. All the way button down to stroke. On the color, you want to put it all the way up to white and click OK on that. Now, tree is a bit too small. I think I usually have it at four. So we're going to click on four there and that looks about good we're going to click ok so next up we want to make that kind of whirlpool effect like it looks like it's coming out and then it just sucked back in right in the middle so we just right click on that and go to blending options and this is just a simple bevel and emboss now we have a style as an inner bevel on the depth i usually put mine to around 300 percent on the size uh i think i usually have at 90 so we'll try 90 there 90 is a bit much, maybe 85. Yeah, that looks good. And click OK when you're ready with that. You can mess around with the other options. It's up to yourself. After all, it is your logo. I'm leaving mine an inner bevel because honestly, I do think that is the best. So that's basically the hard part done, as they say. Now we just want to go into our text tool. But before we do that, we want to create a new layer. So go to your new layer down the bottom there and select text tool again and click anywhere on the logo put in your text i'm putting in z2 but as you can see it came out as blue because my foreground is blue double left click on foreground bring it up to white and do that again z2 now that is way too big guys so we're going to resize that Control a to select it all and put it at size 18 maybe looks pretty good no it's still too big big too big 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 16 16 there we go, 16, that looks pretty good. Size it up whatever way you see fit and click the red tick button. Now as you can see it's got another look to the writing and that doesn't look very well there so you want to right click and go to blending options. This is again just another bevel and emboss but it looks better this time because we're going to make the size to around 5 and we're going to have an inner bevel and we're going to have it as smooth. Now on the depth, you can set that to whatever you want, a thousand percent if you want. I'm going to put mine to 400 percent because I think that looks best for my logo. You can soften it up or whatever you want, but basically that's all we need to do. Now that is our logo actually completed. It didn't take too long. I think it took around four minutes to do that. That's very, very quick, but what's very important, you need to save it. You don't just go to save, you go to file, save at, for web and devices. Save it as a JPEG file on the quality 100 and just save it wherever you want. I'm going to save mine into uh, back one more logos and done logos. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at that. And there is your logo done. You're ready to upload it to wherever you want. Now, as I said, I implemented mine in the YouTube background. So there you can see it again and in the Twitter background. And if you like those backgrounds there and if you want to know how to make them, please go to my YouTube channel and you will see that as well. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope this tutorial helped. Feel free to subscribe if it did help in any way and, and then you'll be able to see my regularly uploaded HD tutorials. So until the next video, you guys, keep on learning.